So here we have the word widespread. Widespread. This is probably a word you can infer just from the word itself. <clears throat> but I thought it would be important for us to talk about the variety of contexts that a word like this can be used in. So let's go ahead and take a look at picture number one. And you have your Google Doc or your Google Form up and ready to go. So feel free to pause the video at any time. We'll be going through and just looking picture by picture. So the first thing I see is, oh, widespread must have to do with food and hamburgers or burgers of some kind. And then I look here and I realize, nope, that can't be what widespread, what widespread means. Um, and so I'm going to go back and look at this picture and I notice that there's quite a, quite a variety. Um, so I'm still not 100% sure what this has to do with widespread, but I did go back and, and went a little bit deeper from noticing that it was food, that it was burgers, to there each, each one is quite different than the next. And then I came over here and I see that there is a wide group of people and they are holding up signs for a variety of causes. Um, and again, I'm not quite sure um, what these two have in common, so the captions should be able to help me. And then I have a, a group of, so the, the one thing I'm noticing is that each one of these has a group. Um, and they're all different, but they're all kind of near one another. Um, so I'm wondering if widespread has to do with um, something that's in common. Uh, and then I'm seeing vote here. And then this one really stands out. I'm not 100% sure, you know, how this fits in with the other one. And then I'm seeing, whoa, that is a huge hurricane. Um, so I, this is one where I, you know, I'm in the right ballpark, but I think I'm going to need some captions. Across the U.S., the hamburger is one of our most popular foods. So the first words I'm focusing on is, are across the U.S. and popular, and I'm going to see if those words pop up in other captions. People far and wide were against the war. So people far and wide. So far and wide. Across the and U.S., the hamburger is one of our most popular foods. Across the U.S. So now I'm kind of wondering if this widespread word sounds a little bit like what it's talking about. So this is talking about how, you know, the hamburger is very popular. There's lots of different kinds. And I guess this is a picture that's representing the variety that you would find across the U.S. And then this one is about um, people far and wide having the same uh, viewpoint. It's common to see cell phones and tablets being used almost everywhere. So common and everywhere. So I'm not going to highlight the next ones, and I'm going to see if in, um, so in pictures one, two, and three, um, I'm going to click on the see all captions here in just a minute. You can freeze the video and take the time that you need to write down the words and captions. <clears throat> but I'm not going to point them out now, so uh, make sure that in square three you're writing down the keywords or phrases or summarizing. Unlike past years, people from all over the place were interested in voting this year. Mm -hmm. The drought affected a far-reaching area. Mm. They expect the hurricane to cause damage all over the south. Okay, so go ahead and write your keywords, your phrases, or summary. I picked up on kind of two components in each of these captions that I think I'm going to include when I try to define widespread. So go ahead and write your words and phrases down and then take a stab at writing the what you think the de definition is. Before you start the definition, ask yourself whether you think this is a noun or an adjective. And if it's a noun, it's probably going to start with a, an, or the. If it is an adjective, it's going to start with describes, and then you need to say what it is that it's describing. 